How we doing everyone? I uh, got another video here for you. I'm going to show you how to do the uh, IMU adjustment on a uh, Komatsu IMC excavator. Uh, this is a process, a very, very simple process. It's outlined pretty well in the book, but I get a call every once in a while that uh, you guys may have some questions about it. This is something that I recommend you check once a week. I think the book says check it every day. Uh, I don't ever do that, but it's definitely worth checking. Uh, it's going to be crucial to your uh, bucket tip position being accurate. So. Really easy process. I'll show you here real quick. Um, so, we'll, so if you can see our screen here, uh, hold on, I'll turn the brightness on the phone up a little bit. It's pretty bright out today. Finally got our sunshine back. All right. So down here in our monitor, you don't have to do anything special. We're just going to go to our menu and we go over. See, I uh, caught the little. Oh, let's focus on my fingers. The bucket with a little lightning bolt. So if we scroll over to that. First one that pops up there at the top says IMU adjustment. We just click on that. So we got adjustment diagnosis and adjustment execute. I recommend always doing diagnosis first. So diagnosis is basically going to check it. Execute is going to actually uh, redo the calibration. So as easy as it is, I always uh, do diagnosis first just to make sure I'm not doing that necessarily. Uh, I'm sitting on concrete. It's hard to see here, but I've got the boom it's tucked up nice and tight it'll show you that here in just a second on the picture but uh we'll go ahead and click this so see it shows you down here tuck your boom up just keep the machine as stable as possible is what it's wanting you to do so it says just face forward it doesn't matter it doesn't necessarily have to be tracks perfectly forward or anything like that uh um, that or drives forward or backwards just needs to face one way or the other so square it up it's gonna hit next and that tells me to hold down start. Basically what it's doing is taking a couple readings of the uh, IMU while facing this direction. I do all this at low idle. So now it's gonna tell me front check complete. So I go ahead and hit next. Now it says spin 180. So I should have said it before, but first thing you're gonna do before you do any of this is make sure you got a good area you can swing all the way around. We've got that, we're good here. It also, it's nice, it pops up here camera the whole time you're doing it so let's go ahead and swing around here real quick if you're on concrete uh, I usually eyeball my squareness but uh, it doesn't hurt if you got someone on the ground just give you a quick square check you can do it with the eye or throw you square on the track real quick but so now we're just gonna say next so now it's gonna ask us to hit start again hold down for a second so you can see it's under execution here and at the end of this it's just gonna tell us rear check complete we hit next one more time adjusting condition is good proceed to daily calibration so that's that's the if you were to do the uh adjustment execute it's going to be identical it's just it's actually going to store your new calibration we just checked it so like i said i would recommend doing that on a periodic basis i'll be making more videos to go through these different bucket weight settings and fine control and all this other stuff um, give you more information but that's a imu adjustment on an excavator simple as that uh, yeah if you guys got questions leave them in the comments or want to see something in particular leave it down there and we'll get to it Thanks.